Wang Shu, Enlarging the World's View of Architecture. One of the most experimental and outspoken architects of China, Wang Shu, is the first Chinese architect to receive what is probably the most important award in architecture, the Pritzker Prize. Born in 1963, Shu is considered very young and successful for an architect. Naturally gifted with great creativity and passion for his work, Shu bases his architecture on his studies of Chinese history and culture mixed with original techniques and a different view of architectural approaches. Shu and his wife Lu Wenyu formed the architectural studio Amateur Architecture with a couple of other young Chinese architects. Wang Shu spent a number of years working on building sites to learn traditional skills. The architectural studio has many different projects and awards since it was created in 1998. The firm utilizes Shu's knowledge of everyday techniques to adapt and transform materials for contemporary projects, exploring natural spaces through lighting, scale, material, and form. Wang Shu is one of the modern architects who focuses on sustainable design of the time. He loves to plan and design all his buildings by hand drawings. Amateur architecture uses a very new and unique technique of construction based on demolition and recycling of buildings to create amazing sustainable contemporary structures. The Ningbo History Museum is one of the best known works of the Amateur Architecture Studio. Located in Ningbo, China and completed in 2007, the Ningbo History Museum concentrates on the idea of sustainability through the utilization of renewable and recycled building materials. As Frank Lloyd Wright Amateur Architecture Studio focuses on conserving and relating to nature on their design using one predominant material on the structure, rather it is concrete, tiles, or wood, as the interior of the Ruby House. The plan of the museum is designed by using less land to conserve the urban landscape. The main structure is steel and concrete frame. The columns are strictly arranged to optimize the structural design, reduce costs, and accelerate the construction process. The skin of the building is made of wepan, a local architectural technique which is the stacking of recycled bricks layered with different order and sizes. The ceramic house in Jinhua, China was completed in 2006. The house is made of recycled ceramics from the Song Dynasty. The very special ceramic is called inkstone. Its surface is made of two parts. One is comparatively plain and the other is a slope. The plain part is for storing ink and the slope part is for dripping ink. The inkstone and traditional porcelain became the inspiration for this small house. The ceramic house is a one-story house. Shu often refers to it as the cafe house. The west and east walls are full of little holes to allow wind and light and emphasizes the direction of the house. By the west door, there is a stair leading to the roof which provides a great view of the river. Recycled colorful pieces of porcelain made by Su Wu are pasted on the inner and outer walls of the house. She was the only Chinese female emperor in the dynasties. The pieces are arranged irregularly and present all colors in Chinese ceramic. There is a shallow pool in the front that catches the reflection of the house in the water to provide a beautiful serene environment. Wang Shu said, the small house, I decided to make it a container. Rather it will hold wind or water is completely determined by intuition. The China Art Academy's new campus of Xi'an Shan School in Hangzhou, China was completed in two phases by 2007. Phase 1 consists of four classroom buildings and various smaller buildings, including studios, workshops, a library, a tower, and an athletic field. The classroom buildings are designed in a U-shape in plan. The interior facades are marked by wood shutters, while the exterior facades utilize sloping roof with gray tiles. The courtyard configuration of the buildings in Phase 1 are referenced to traditional Chinese courtyard residences, 
Just as Frank Lloyd Wright used the chimney as the heart of his houses, Wang Shu also uses the courtyard, which represents humans' relationship to nature as the center of his buildings. Phase 2 is a development of the techniques used in Phase 1. It is characterized by a series of buildings with the same wood shutters as in Phase 1. It has more gestural building forms and raised roofs that have been described as calligraphy-like. The buildings in Phase 2 are floating above the grass as cantilevers and allowing automobile and pedestrian circulations beneath. In Phase 2, the setback shape of the buildings still create a sense of enclosure and as in Phase 1, the courtyard are locked in center as the enclosure of the campus. He is the first Chinese Kanzo Tange visiting professor at the Harvard Graduate School of Design in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 2006, Wang Shu, an amateur architecture, participated in the Architectural Biennale in Venice with the Chinese contribution, Tiles Garden, a dialogue beyond city between an architect and an artist, in which they presented an installation of a sea of Chinese tiles crossed by a bamboo bridge.